Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five The title of today's message is Born to Win. Amen. Our scripture text for this lesson is found in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, the first part of verse 14 from the King James Version. And it reads, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. Now, we know that everybody likes to win. I've not ever met anybody that didn't like to win. Have you? Yeah. But the question is, what does it take for us to be a winner? We know that God has already provided us with the winning strategy. Our text says that God always causes us to triumph in Christ. We are born to win. God never created a loser. So, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, we, as born-again believers, once we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ, we're destined to win through faith in Jesus Christ. Not in ourselves, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we walk out that victory day by day by faith mm -hmm. in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Success doesn't just fall on us. That's in the natural as well as on the spiritual realm. Right. we got to act on the Word of God and then start thinking and saying that we are winners. Mm -hmm. Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, verse 7 says, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he, or so does he become. How we think will reflect in what we do. There are people who think life is hard. They don't expect much. They constantly say things like, Nothing is going to change for me. It's always going to be this way. I can't take it. But we must say and do what the Word yes. says. Instead of saying, I can't, we say what the Word of God says. Philippians 4.13 says, I can mm -hmm. do all things all right. through Christ Amen. who strengthens me. Yes, in my flesh, I can't do it. Uh -huh. But with the Holy Spirit helping me, I can do all things all right. through Christ Amen. who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Galatians, the sixth chapter, verse 9, from the New English translation, says, in due time. We're going to reap if we do not give up. No matter how long you've been going through, you got to believe that a change is coming. And just because the enemy knocks you down, that's not a sign of defeat. Amen. You might be knocked down, but you're not knocked out. Amen. You might be down for the count. But as long as you get back up, you're still in the game. Amen. And it doesn't matter what our circumstances look like if we just don't quit. Yes. Our situation will turn around or God will change us in the midst of it. Yeah. God has given us everything we need. Yeah. We got his word. Yeah. We have the blood of Jesus. Yeah. We got the name of Jesus. Yes. And Jesus has already given us the victory. Yeah. If we will stand strong in our victory in Christ mm -hmm. and use the weapons we've been given. Well, we will triumph yes. over the devil every time. Amen. Remember our scripture text Amen. says that God always causes us to triumph yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Well, we are born to win. Yes. That's glory yes. be to God. So it's easy sometimes to get caught up in the cares of life. There are family problems, marital problems, problems on the job, problems with the children, there are bills to pay unexpected expenses to take care of, the cost of living is rising, and the economy looks shaky. But in Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse 19, God promises to supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. But many of us are so busy worrying about how we're going to make it that we forget about God's promise to supply. We need to forget about our situation and focus on the promises of God. And as we do this, we won't care about what's going on mm. around us. That's because we realize that our circumstances are temporal, but our God is eternal and he's gonna bring us out all right. Mm -hmm. God is able to supply yes, all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we need to count all joy, yes. knowing that it's all working for our good and to bring glory to God. Yes. And when we know that we are born to win, we can have joy 
through it all. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm. So what do we do? Throw, it, mm. throw off anything that may hinder us. Pride, mm. double-mindedness, people, habits, wrong relationships, wrong motives, selfish ambition, the works of the flesh. Throw off anything that may hinder you from being the winner God created you to be. Mm. Count it all joy. Mm. Well, so we got to run this race with patience, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. We got to remember that God has given us a purpose in life. We're here for a reason, and that is to fulfill God's plan and purpose for our life. We are not here just to mark time or take up space. Amen. God wants us to fulfill our divine destiny. Mm -hmm. You are destined to win. Remember, God always causes you and I to triumph in Christ Jesus. We're born to win. The word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.